I'm David Silver, head of the Self-Driving Car Engineer Nanodegree Program here at Udacity. I'm Rafael D'Andrea, Professor of Dynamic Systems and Control at ETH Zurich. Thank you so much for joining us, Raf. Thanks for uh, having me. So you are um, one of the experts in flying cars um, that we are working with to build the Flying Car Nanodegree Program. And I am really curious about flying cars. Are flying cars basically self-driving cars that fly, or is there more to it than that? I think there's a lot of commonalities, but there's also a lot of differences. Um, let's start with the differences. Uh, the dynamics of cars are very different than the dynamics of drones and different types of drones have different dynamics themselves. So um, from the dynamics perspective, they're quite different. Um, but at some point, they become to look very similar in terms of, you know, at the end of the day, they have to carry things from point A to point B. They have missions to complete. Uh, they have to do so and react to unanticipated uh, disturbances, um, obstacles, other vehicles. Uh, and in that sense, the, they share a lot of things. How do they actually get into the air? So I've seen different versions. I've seen you know light aircraft that look kind of like normal aircraft. They're yeah. just small. I've seen things that look like a car attached to like helicopter rotors on top. I've seen you know things like Harrier jets that kind of use like jet propulsion to, to get right. off the ground. How how do flying cars get off the ground and into the air? Yeah. So I I mean all of the things that you said. There's uh, and there's many many more. I think that uh, one. Um, uh, design that's uh, or design feature that we're going to see almost exclusively uh, is just this this ability to do vertical takeoff and landing, basically the ability to hover. Mm -hmm. um, so I think you will see that design uh, feature being uh, being common. Um, it is what uh, allows you to to be to design a very personal sort of vehicle to mm -hmm. land in confined spaces, to take off uh, and land in confined spaces, but also. Um, if you think of down the road where you have to coordinate a whole bunch of these units, um, you want to be able to hover and stop. Mm -hmm. That makes the coordination and planning problem much more tractable uh, than if you didn't have that. Uh, our current aircraft right now, you know, they have to res reserve large portions of the airspace, you know, to do things like circling, et cetera. If you have super high densities, you want to have a more efficient way of doing that. So hovering is going to be uh, a feature that's going to be in most of these types of vehicles. What's nice about um, learning how to, you know, control and design a, a, an autonomous drone is that the skills that you learn for doing that, you know, um, carry over to other things that have autonomy and have safety and reliability uh, as a key component and feature. So it doesn't have to be just about, uh, you know, self-flying cars or flying cars. It could also be about uh, autonomous systems that uh, have to have high levels of reli reliability and robustness. You know, the, the tools and skills and mindset that you learn for that carry over to those things as well. It could be in a manufacturing plant. Flying cars have a potential for a restart, right? This is a tremendous opportunity to actually take the state of affairs now and drastically improve them, but that should be done in parallel to future urban planning so that we don't just repeat the same mistake and 10 years from now, we have the same problems now, we have the same problems then as we have now. Wow, so this is really an opportunity to Huge. watch the world change and for us to change the world for the better as part of building up That's this correct, and I think part of it is to view technology not always as the savior of, uh, of our problems, but rather um, uh, a way to get us um, you know, to the next level where we can design things properly all right, I'm excited to see the future. So thank you so much for joining us for this discussion about self-driving cars and flying cars. Again, I'm David Silver. Um, if you're interested, I encourage you to, uh, to look into Udacity's Self-Driving Car Engineer Nanodegree Program. Um, and Roth's Flying Car Program is coming up, and that's going to be really exciting. Um, and I hope you join him to learn all about flying cars for the future.